Alright, welcome back to the channel. We're back in Urge. This episode is going to be a two day episode. The first day I am just going to spend trying to get caught up on some of the basics. <laughs> things I've been neglecting, just running through some of these closed houses. I need to find plastic bottles. Uh, since those only last for a few uses, I am running very low on them. Also gonna spend some time just harvesting like wood, some basic things like that. So chances are this first day is gonna be pretty uneventful and I'll try to just edit and move through it pretty quickly on the episode that you watch. Took this before. coming. Did you see that? This resin just popped out of that tree right next to me. <laughs> this is so weird. I think that this shit is spawning even when not even just when I'm getting out of the game and going back in but even when I'm just sleeping. Because I've been playing for what will be like the last few episodes straight, and I haven't logged out once. There's a plastic bottle. What was that? Oh, 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 belladonna berries. Holy shit. To make a clock. Metal. Hopefully. I think I've got everything to make a clock now. Look at these freaking ear tents all over the damn place. Strong fibers can be used to make fabrics when combined with something. Alright, I'm going to try eating it. That gave me a little bit of health. What's up, possum? You can have the rest of the blueberries that are left there. Leading him over to the barbed wire. Let's see what happens. How oh, he fell. <laughs> you drunk bastard. I don't know if I can fire this far. I may have hit him. That would hurt. Ah. 
I want to see if this hurts him or if it just slows him down. Because in the description it just says slows the enemies down. Yeah, it is just slowing him down. That took care of him. I don't even know where it is, whatever it was. Oh, there you are. Must have been in one of those. Okay, all three of the poisons are going in there. <laughs> Let's try this again. Alright, so far, there appears to be water in there. like water. Alright, it looks like it's boiling. So that says water. Mushrooms aren't growing in this because they're out in the sun. They might need to be in the shade. Let's try planting something out there. I'll try planting coffee weed. Okay. Let's see if we can make the clock. Plywood battery and wire. Sweet. And again, we're going to put this with the arrow facing up. <laughs> it's rudimentary, but it works. So I wonder if the ticks on that are days. So maybe I have one, 
two days before the next geyser eruption. It's good to know though. I mean, look at the last one. I was down, way down underground when it happened. This time I can be prepared. All right. We got some important things done yesterday. Today I'm going to head out and head south. I'm going to get on that road, the highway, which runs all the way along this and see if it takes me up towards that building up there. I guess it takes me towards, what's the name of that town? Hazerville. Oh, what the shit. Asshole doing. For a second, I thought I might just let him go, but he wasn't interested in me, but can't take that chance. Some of the things I see the enemies do like that, and like when the gas mask chainsaw guys wave, danger. Makes me wonder if there's like some weird hidden like passive way to do things. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably not, but it still makes me wonder. There's like some secret way to just like wave back at the gas mask chainsaw guys and they're just like cool with you after that. <laughs> Die, bitch. What the fuck? What's going on here? What the fuck? That's like a freaking mama. <laughs> Big mama fucking bug. Oh jeez, what the fuck is going on? What did I do here? I angered the insect gods. Die, you bastard. See? I should have knew better when I saw a danger sign. Alright, shit's glitching out a little bit. some herbal liquid. You know what I need to do, right? Releasing gas or fog? I think it is. What is that? Off to the left here. It's just 
crazy perspective, yeah. Possum. <laughs> that the one from yesterday that was following me around with the wound on his head? It looks like it. He's my best buddy because I let him have some buggy. I think I should feed him another piece of bug meat. Where'd you go? Is that bug meat too? Oh, that's spoiled flesh, okay. That's why he didn't want to eat that. I was gonna throw him a piece of meat, but I don't know where he went. Alright, looks like this is a bad way to go. Could it be a bunch more shit? Worse than what I just want? Probably. Look at that. Look at there on the right. It's all crazy looking. Such a crazy twisted forest over there. Alright, we'll move forward cautiously. If things get too crazy, I'll turn back. Grasshoppers and dragonflies, or mosquitoes, one of the two. Oh, I can't cross. I'll have to go up that. I have to go through all this shit, all that urid water. <gasps> This over here is just crazy looking. It's probably a bad idea to go that way. Is this my possum right here? That's nah, a different one. Unless his wound healed. Yeah, it looks like a bad way to go. So I did see another building over here. I don't think it's one I've been in yet, so I'll check it out. Oh no, it's that ship. Okay, this is that junkyard. Shit. Alright, well, my urid level's already at halfway. I'm gonna have to head back. As far as the rest of today goes, I think I'll head down past the gas station. See what I can find down in that direction. Alright, this toilet's getting bad again. I need to find acid. I think I've only got one bottle left. And 
one is looking to be like a very important thing to have. Alright, I'm gonna head out this way. I know there's a few things to check out over here. If there's time, I'll run across the bridge because I know there's some loot on the far end of it also. You're seeping in through the ground. So as far as what that does, I think it slows you down and I think it also reduces a cloud of fog if you walk through it. Oh, we got a log here. It's a code. Okay, that's good to have be a combination to get into some building possibly. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, like a dam. Doesn't look like there's anything to it, as far as looting goes. What about on the other side? Can I walk across this? Yeah. So let's look on the map. Okay. Another geyser. This is the road I came in on, I believe. Yeah. That's the welcome to Gullrude side. Check out what's over here. I remember noticing this before, but I never came down here. It looked like a little trailer park. Oh yeah. It's got a pisser too. It's good to know. so you can piss with friends. Nope, no room for duct tape. Tarps. Where do you go, grenade? I see you. Damn it. Fuck out of here, tarp. Yeah. That grenade. 
Alright, I need to head back. got over here. Is this a cave? Or a mine? Looks like a mine. Oh, it's a big mine. It's got a danger sign up. Okay, where is this at? Okay, right there. Got it. I know I've been in this house before. It won't hurt to run through again real quick, see if anything else respawn. Yeah. Battery. Alcohol. have an open spot, okay. What a cave. <laughs> Not going down there. Probably all kinds of fucking piranhas and shit in there. Or I'll just straight up drown. One of the two. Heading back towards base. Acid bottle. I need that. What can I get rid of here? stash this loot and it's already getting to be early evening so I'll, I may just try to uh, boil some water or something like that busy myself around the base looks like I've got probably a day until the next eruption oh yeah it's getting dark quick now Alright, I'm going to go fill up all these empty bottles and boil some water. It's getting dark. Boiling. I wonder if that is one of the uh, new updates. Toilet's starting to look 
pretty bad. That's where I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.